everybody else <laughs> playing in the field, but they've done it once. Can they do it again? Starting off on the defensive side, so DRX, given all their all the conversations around compositions, rosters, they finally have settled in, and it seems to be working quite nicely. And right away on this pistol round, you can see DRX very, very slow, controlled, trying to understand which style of Billy Billy they're going to get, because these two teams are familiar with each other. They scrim a lot over in Pacific. And Billy Billy can be a team that instantly can frustrate you with the pace that they throw at you, with the weapons they use, they choose. It's just so difficult to prep against. We saw how it costs fit against NRG in the past. Can DRX handle it just a bit better? Slow start to the round. They're all leaning towards A. The turret making sure there's no flame. And despite DRX or Billy Billy getting forced back into this A site right now, DRX has done it with no util at all. Oh, only the cycling of that Viper wall, and that denies so much info for Billy Billy. They just walked past the one way at the perfect time, took all that space, and it's caused four people to be over here. Rin, first target, and he knows now that it's going to be towards this C side. He saw the fade. He's seeing all the rotations coming through for the defensive side. It's really just K Knight who's waiting. As you see the dump of utility, the nanos, the nade on the other side, they're gonna get vulnerable if they try to push through that smoke. And they're gonna walk right into Rin's crosshair. 28 HP still alive Everybody though. The spike hasn't made its way out. There are only 10 seconds left. The turret's oh, gonna provide a little bit of cover, but it's dropped. I don't know that they're gonna make it out. It's gonna be a flood out onto the site. And there are a couple of members already close by. Why is he takes care of Buzz? I don't know that the spike is gonna go down in time. Just barely does. But all of DRX drop. And despite the early success, I would say, from DRX there, succumbing to indecision in the final moments of the pistol round, we saw how effective and important these rounds were yesterday. And now again, Billy Billy. I mean, great job from them. By the way, that KJ, Molly, and the Viper Orb, full fuel for them to be able to keep that up, completely denies DRX from actually entering in. Big mistake there from DRX. Just one round in, we're already seeing stacks put his face in his hands. But you know, the desk was talking about how emotional a team it can be and how that often is one of the keys to their success. So we'll see how things continue to play out. DRX not opting to buy very much into this. You got a sheriff in the hands of RB, a ghost for stacks, and Mako, and then just classics the rest of the way. I like that from Zest though, looking early to break the haunt. That gets thrown out from Bianc. Doesn't actually come in that direction, and now he just has to play for the space spot. He can get punished here. If they yeah. just follow up, there's only one player nearby. Arby's coming by to help. It's a good cross. You can't really push much more into that if you're Billy Billy without extra support or util. Not knowing what could peek you from the seaside either. There's a triple possible. Here. Yeah. So many things to consider, but... TRX taking the space that's been given to them, starting lean towards C, and look at Rin just on the other side of the so smoke. There, actually, the smoke that K Knight is throwing down is a lot of a gap into that site. That's why DRX uses the look to break mollies, but Rin is playing an off angle into his molly for it, so anybody who comes through is just going to get barrel stuff. That's really nicely done. Good details there from Billy Billy. It's oh. so difficult. It's clean, and it's an ace from Rin. BLG already riding the high. Hey, and you see just how oppressive that Killjoy and Viper combo can be yep. on, on C when you're trying to play when you're trying to play through that, you've got nano or yeah, you've got nanos at your feet, you've got Viper Spits too, you've got to try to funnel out with. It's so difficult. Yeah, it's about very basic, simple details here that lead to this. Then masterful shots from Rin. And for me, Billy Billy in in their entire roster win against NRG was the guy who was keeping that game even close in terms of mistakes that he was making, but they're just the fundamentals coming through on that KJ. Phenomenal stuff from him. Really nice opportunity here for BLG if they're able to convert this round to set up very nice financially. Once again, this triple push towards a -min. A lot of presence here. Oh, this time there's a paranoia wrinkled in. They're gonna push him right off that angle. A lot of times this could force these attackers to go really, really fast into the C site or the B site, react into it. Sure. But Billy Billy is trying to bait that sort of reaction out, and DRX is having none of it. Still wanting to go Racing slow. Nanoswarm popped to try to break the alarm bot, but Wisey is here to defend. 
I mean, he's more than here. He's starting to push up a little bit oh, forward, too. Him, RB, are you aware that turret's going to help? They've already broken all the KJ setup right now. Sure, the turret's on a cooldown. can come back at the end of the round, but alarm bot from RB pressured, and that's making stacks have to spend prowlers on the other side of the map when they need him for this execute. Once again, heading back towards here, they've only cleared one of the nanos, and there it is again. It's so difficult to get through this. Buzz is melted. No entry into the site. And then you've got the molly out from Yosemite. This is just so clean from Billy Billy. TRX not finding any room to breathe, any space to work. And it's another disaster. The bonus in full effect for BLG. They're getting choked out here on this seaside, and that's three attempts now at it. You've got to start recognizing you need more pressure on that side early in order to get some of that fuel down, in order to get that molly down. Funny enough, the goals that DRX is having right now to break some of that util from the KJ on B site. Actually, Billy Billy on the defense is having more success with. It's really nice game plan out of these two teams. I mean, it certainly helps when you only have one member on your team that's died. Rain is 9-0 right now. A clean bill of health for almost everyone else. Fast push now for DRX on this eco. Remember, they lost that bonus, so huge cascade of rounds possible here from Billy Billy. But taking this A control is normally a goal for a lot of teams very early, but I think that that fear that it felt like they were playing with in the first two rounds, at least what they decided on for their own game plan, is limiting them in this access. Oh, this is so aggressive. There's not a lot of, oh, there was a little bit of help. I didn't see K Knight there, but the sheriffs from DRX keeping him down for now. Now that's important here for Bianca to actually try to defend these weapons. And with that Viper wall up, he can do nothing for it. Just going to try to use the timing right there to see if he can catch somebody going for it late. He's got a haunt. I mean, still full utility. There's a push coming from the door, too. Yosemite. They've got a They're nice, going to double peek. Yep, they've got a nice pinch here. Only one weapon has been upgraded so far, and that instantly finds value. But the timing from Bianca is gorgeous. All three fall as BLG get another. And it's the first real success from DRX. Instantly snuffed out. Whoa. And a timeout because of it, too. Yeah, you got to get on the same page here. That's huge. Because think about this on the other side. Billy Billy is completely on the same page. You see Bianca getting these kills, but at the same time, too, you had Yosemite coming in through the breakable door, and Rin was involved as well. All three players alive getting involved in that final fight. Beautiful stuff. To think about how to approach this a little bit better. That C site needs to be pressured a lot more. They need to get that util out from Rin. They need to potentially even rotate him off of that site. And then they need to be decisive when they're hitting. Try to get in those timings when that fuel is low from Yosemite. A 10 and 0 start for Rin. A killjoy stream, to be honest. Just so good. And now they have to deal with YZ's op coming online. Aggressive already against Buzz here. He's so far ahead. Should have heard the TP. He's so far ahead. The Prowler in his face. He's got to try to get away. Manages to survive without taking any damages. You see a second one come through as he tucks behind, tries to land the shot. But Buzz from up top with the nade is just too much. And important here, Rin does not have a second molly. Must have used it to try to get YZ in position. Yeah, he does have a lockdown though. And honestly, with the way he's been playing, he might be all right anyway. DRX so feeling some of the pressure. They've got what they wanted. They took down the op. They took down YZ. They want to flip the map. And they do have Buzz as showstopper now. His rocket could help take a lot of space here. But with Yosemite and Bianc, needs to be well considered. They've got to be careful, though. I think if they push Yosemite here, there's not much room for him to help. He's got to play his life very dangerously. Or he just Ooh. pushes forward, what? gets haunted, and gets a kill on the stacks. Seize comes in to delay as well, so Derek still not making their way in through main. They're going into Rin. Oh, right back into Rin, you're right. Rin finally dying at the hands of Buzz. The B side opened, the spike planted, and DRX in control for what feels like the first time, really, all map. K Knight pushing forward, Buzz with three on the round, looking for the fourth. Here's somebody on the counter, though, as they're going to claw their way back into this thing. Mako's left alone in a 1v2 has to make something happen in a situation like this. It's been dire, it's been ugly, and it's not getting any better. Yosemite gets a third as BLG gets a five. Where is DRX right now? That was a, a one round. It, when, it, when they started hitting that B side, it felt like a one round. 
And then all of a sudden it turns so fast. They got the first kill on YZ. They got success in terms of map control. Just the final hurdle, they don't use that ult. They don't use the tools that they had in that to be able to push through. And they're again. Billy Billy is causing fits with all the util. Everything is precise, perfect. I got their omen. That C's delayed for so long for Yosemite to stay alive for so long, and that actually caused them to pivot into the B site where again, you have players ready for it. Precise, perfect, and honestly problematic for DRX. And all the questions about, well, maybe it was just, you know, whimsy as you were saying against NRG, can they do it here? You're you're right, ball, they're showing a different flavor of Valorant towards ZRX, and they don't like how it tastes. No, uh, in the first series against NRG, it was Judge. That was the story. It was like, oh, my God, why is he just crazy with the Judge tilting the other team? In their second series, not at all. There's very little elements of that in terms of the clutches. Sure, it was tilting, but that was it. Here comes Buzz. It's a different it. path, but YZ gets to kill himself. What the heck happened there? Why is he already with two? The spike out of reach, the round is done. I don't know how they get into this. There. It's a nookie dodge up high. Buzz was so high too. Couldn't get a hold on that rocket. Why is he's gotten three on the round? Perhaps another ace on the cards. Why is he with four? The ace on the other side and it delivers once more. Two rounds out of six. We've had aces by Billy Billy. And zero. Rounds for DRX thus far. If you wanted a bloodbath, you got it. This Lotus is looking phenomenal from Billy Billy right now. Looking like nothing can stop them. Looking like multiple players can step up at any point. What do DRX do from here? The buy is less than ideal. A Guardian and a Bulldog for Zest. And then just pistols. They have failed to find success with some of their ultimates. I think again about Buzz's previous round and how wise he got the best of them, but this time not the case. They've gotten first kills on these eco rounds before, but nothing there. There. to be able to capitalize on anything here. I see again falling, but this time the gun way deep, very safe. They're not going to be able to recover it. They're going to have to use what they have. And that's a lot of space, a lot of control. They're still behind the Viper wall, sure, but lockdown. There's, there's tools here still. And RB potentially going to get a really late lurk if they do opt to go into this A side. I think the question, too, is how patient is Ren? As Bianca falls on the opposite side of the map, you feel the rotations having to come through. Knight's in a really good spot, and of course, K9 gets two. Repositioning on the third. Not able to land, but Yosemite does. 30, 30 seconds. They've left. somehow gotten this back to a 2v2. I don't understand. I don't understand how they're going to do it again. It just makes no sense. And once again, DRX scratching their heads. Two early kills. This is a knife to the wall. Left. He only has a sheriff. He has to die here. He already has his lockdown. So honestly, the Billy Billy players might keep him alive. <laughs> That's just more fun. <laughs> it's just more fun. Yosemite with three DRX. Still fat goose egg on the scoreboard. This is crazy. And we are entering this series in another situation where people are still doubting. Billy Billy. Yes, they've only played against one team in NRG and got success against them. But here they are. Against the doubters, 7-0 up right now. Unfathomable. And a furrowed brow for the IGL of DRX is he's the one who has to figure out what the heck do they do in the face of this. They have four ultimates to work with this time. Maybe that's the key. It's a tough decision too. Like At this point, you probably want to start thinking about a second time out before this gets completely out of hand. I guess it not already. Because, I mean, if you invest that here, you're dry the rest of the map. Termi has already called one. Face your fear. Nightfall through, Buzz satcheling forward. They've created some space. What do they do with it? You see K-Knight is already ulted to join the defenses of Billy Billy. 
They're already all here. This might be the first plant of the game for DRX right now. Yeah, you may be right. Or maybe the pistol. Where yeah, the pistol where they barely, barely yeah. got it. Felt like the round was already over. This time, plenty of tools. The lockdown. They've got the pit too if they need to. Won't invest it here. Note here, Bianca, one point away from having the nightfall. But Mako, from a distance, keeping them back. At least attempting to. Why is he detained? He's got to take a step back. You see the pit now in play. K9 pushing forward, trying to find anything that he can claim. Really, nothing's going to be found, but they brought enough time for him to get back online. Bianca's going to be on the tap. Sacks dropping him first. And nothing gonna happen. I thought for a moment maybe they get to half and something happens, but DRX finally cauterized the bleeding and get on the board. All it took there was a fast round and Rain gives up well, that C site. Well, it took a fast round. It took what, three ultimates? Yes. Four ultimates, something like that? Absolutely. And but in terms of the early success, being able to sure. get on site, which is where they've struggled. Perhaps that one round and the, ch the cheers from the crowd is enough Time for DRX to make a run at this. It's been an abysmal start for them so far on Lotus. But somehow, Time through to disaster, there's an opportunity to stabilize and convert. Or not. Rin is just on a heater, man. He's been so good. They're going to try to go fast in it again. Nade lands on it, but this time he gets the early kill. So if he falls off, oh. Another molly kill. They're both traded there. They finally both fall, and this time the rotations are a little late, but it's not because they weren't proactive. It's because they're flanking through spawn. I don't think that turret was up right now, so this double so flank either. could be huge. The nightfall. Funneling them right into BLG's lap once more. YZ with the showstopper connects onto Buzz. The 3K and the eighth for Billy Billy. It's perfect right away. Out of Billy Billy. They follow up on what was successful for DRX and they figure out, let's just push this A site instantly. And when, when you start to get those kills coming in from Rin, when you start to get that Molly traded, yes, it's a 3v3 once you get the site, but that forces RB to come on over and give up the turret. Nightfall pushes them into the flank. It's just beautiful. Once again, such a strong response. Out of that timeout and effective right away, too. They might not need a second one. I love the fact that they called it here in this first half to just try to really push that knife in. And the potential here for the twist of that to be their demise. A judge for Buzz this time around. And a heavy lean towards C once more. And don't forget, because they went around, they reset the loss bonus, so... This becomes a very impactful round for DRX. They kind of have to win. He's already gone his way out. The judge is not finding any value. Yeah, somebody's staying alive long enough to drop Dude. that molly and getting a kill on Mako. I mean, that was a little aggressive by Rin there. But a 3v3 for the rest of the round. Two members still rotating over. Bianca, a bit of, pro a bit of pressure. Spike Double flank again through the door this time, and it comes really fast. That I don't think RB expected it. No, he's so dead. But Zest on the counter, a 2v2. BLG trying to retake the site. Oh, the satchel. He's gotten his way through, and YZ with three. What is going on? YZ just satcheled his own teammate there, gets up top, and gets the kills. It's like he baited his own teammate forward. And they're just destroying. He's asking what the heck is going on himself. This guy is destroying. He had already the highest ACS in the entire tournament. Second highest ADR, first among the players who are still playing. And here again, 15 and three, it's gotta be up there for another just disgusting game. And you effectively create a high low, and even then you see it. YZ was essentially isolated in that 1v2. Question marks. <laughs> Question marks all over the place. There's always a Cinderella ball. It always seems like there's a Cinderella, and this one seems to be fit to the size of BLG. That slipper fitting quite nicely. Is there up eight rounds against DRX? A team that looked revitalized, a team that looked reinvigorated. 
they're getting so much value out of any of these A pushes. At this point, DRX has to start getting ready for dealing with the follow-up flanks that come despite getting some success on pushing into that C site. Finally, we're having some satchels early to try to break it out. There, it broke both. Letting it stay alive for max damage. On the radius and wisely, we've seen this before. The turret did spoil the fun for him on this flank. The turret's down. No way, timing. no way. What timing? Why is it that RB is the guy going so far here to break this door? Shadows knowing that he needs to keep that U2 up. It's like he's trying to make a play while the rest of them are following up behind his play, his idea. Door broken. YZ, who's already found value on one, looking for the second is beyond from the rest of BLG. Try to hold A. And my goodness, once more, nothing for RB to do when you're running a 1v5 at the end of the round like that. I mean, what options do you have? And you saw the traded flashes there. Both omens using their paranoia, and I really think that it's fitting because Billy Billy is abusing. DRX is paranoia here in terms of what could happen, in terms of the fact that this is such a devastating scoreline. DRX on the precipice of a massive first map loss here. We're about to enter halftime, but we're also already maybe it's starting to declare this game is over right now. I mean, we're close with it. We're flirting with it for sure. 10, I mean, 11-1 would just be disgusting. Would be our biggest half of this tournament. Just one round. Really the only thing keeping Billy Billy from a perfect half. Against DRX, no less. Again, I can't stress the importance of that. DRX looks so good. They went through the gauntlet that was Group D. And people thought, well, Billy Billy, yeah, maybe they got the best of NRG, but surely they can't do it again, oh right? Oh my goodness, they used the showstopper to clear mound and not to actually execute on the site. Oh, and it gets a kill anyways. That's not supposed to happen. No. Why is he again? He's gonna respond. Whoa. Oh, that was a little aggressive. That was a little bold. Somehow stays alive. You see two haymakers shot out. BLG, the attempt to knock out punch, and for DRX, the attempt to just get back into this thing to give themselves a fighting chance. DRX, a 5v2 to close out the half. 30 seconds left. Surely it doesn't happen like this, no. right? Surely it doesn't happen like this. Bianca's already gotten two. YZ in a 1v3, make that a 1v2. The timing is not great, as DRX finally gets complete slaughter. <laughs> They're having fun with it, too. Hopefully they can continue to get smiles on their face because yeah. Billy Billy now on this attack side to close out and they already got just an omen CP across. That was silent. I don't think they heard it. I don't think no, they heard it. They have no idea. Dude, K Knight only finding one, but the damage is done. And that's the the problem with trying to slow walk, take that control as a defense. You don't end up hearing the TP. Either way, traded back and they've actually got a really nice pinch here. That alarm bot still will be up from RB while they go for this. Push into it. They've effectively funneled them into B. The thing is, there's really no contain well, yeah, and on the, the spawn side of The things. A players are not reacting to this. They should either try to take control of A main or rotate back to start a pinch going, and the timing could not be worse. I mean, Yosemite's going to pinch him behind him. They're going to try to funnel their way out through panel. Nicknade. There's a lot of trouble here for DRX, as once again, they have no idea of what's waiting on the other side. And the fact that it's been quiet this their entire time, Signals to everybody else exactly what's going on. Nobody coming through heaven, nobody else through A main. Oh, maybe not. Mistake there from YZ. Yeah, numbers still in favor of the attack side, though. Now we've equalized. Rain is weak, 37 HP. The spam out from Akko into the smoke. They're going to have to pop their way out because Arby's already gotten it three quarters of the way. He gets it to half, finishes the job, and gets DRX the pistol. Billy Billy, for the first time in my mind, showing. The first sign of inexperience there. Not really putting the clues together. Even though that flank was just perfect by Yosemite. Perfect by K Knight in the first place to get that first opener. And then the situation that DRX went for was again ideal in terms of handling that post plant, but just really thinking somebody was coming through waterfall. 
Now Billy Billy down to pistols. Five Bulldogs on the defensive side. Surely you favor DRX in this round. As Billy Billy have gone exploring a little bit of 1-3-1 and they fully make their way out. I mean, the spike is in the hands of YZ and he satchels forward. He gets the spike down and he somehow gets away. Wow. And already success. He's gotten two orbs in this round. Rin got the other one. Hey, and the plant. You've got to be careful here. That nade is going to cause some problems. But, oh, Buzz is just going to stick it. Never mind. He just holds it the whole way. I thought the nade was on. And don't, in this situation, the attackers don't need to go down. So economically, they're still going to be okay. Despite my heart beating for a second there while I saw all of them stay alive. It's okay. And again, I think that's a success for Billy Billy. Not only denying the kills from DRX there, but getting three or two orbs for YZ, the plant and the B orb, and yep. then as well, getting that C orb for Rin. They're thriving in this case, and this is it. Big opportunity for them to close out this game. They win this anti-bonus. DRX, while they won't be out, you start to get those power ults. That becomes the win condition. DRX just dumped so much utility towards A-Main there to effectively draw a line in the sand and not let him through. And I like that they're keeping some of this space as well. That spray, the jump spot, Mako confirms there's nothing actually through, which means Billy Billy needs to go for a second approach here, plan B, rotate back towards C. Is that to clear some of the util? Yeah. It at least drops the alarm bot. The nano mid is still there. And that makes it hard. You can't play passive on B anymore. They're still looking for this. Spamming down. I mean, they just invested a prowler towards mid because of that. And that's 50 seconds. They've gotten almost all the really impactful util down from the KJ. With this smoke, they can continue to look for picks inside the C site. They don't have to commit through this. He's far up here. Here's the freeze. Zaz creeping forward. K Knight. There as well, you see it just a little bit of geometry keeping the two players apart. Seconds left. The timing on this is everything that sees the swing out, but Zaz somehow getting two. Seems like it might be bonus back, but why is he with the counter punch? <laughs> Yosemite with another in control for BLG. Why is he got his nade back too, so allows for this plant to go in, but it's a safe plant. They cannot commit to playing post plant from mound. Ah, they may not want to. Buzz and Mako, what do you do? A divided attempt to take the site back as they approach it from two fronts. Rin tucked in the corner. Do you check it? Yes, you do. Even Crouch, nothing converted. Yosemite's going to have to do it by himself. Let's get down to a 1v1. Time on Yosemite's side as Mako playing swing around the rosy, trying to find the timing. No idea of what's on the other side, and Mako reads it well. Huge bonus for DRX, and all of a sudden, we're within five, and there's a big chance here for them to start snowballing themselves, start to have a half similar to Billy Billy. And you don't get into that period where it starts to become thinking about these win conditions for Billy Billy being easy to get, easy to achieve. No, keeping them from 11 is super important while this lead is still so big. Because again, you think about what Billy Billy have in the tool bag to end this. If it was two rounds, you just need two rounds of massive ults. Right. And as time continues, that's what DRX is really banking on. They cannot lose a round for the next couple. I mean, they're still intent on pushing a lot of this aggression towards A main. Whoa. That's fast. Good reaction from Billy Billy. Instantly just pushing on the other side while they lose the Ooh, other two. The paranoia in the nade. It's so good. Why is he getting one with the ult? And now the Prowler to push them back even further. This is the problem here. K Knight doesn't have the smoke. They're going to try to push it again. Trying to check both corners. And RB dismisses K Knight. What else can they find? Why is he and Bianchi le here left in this 2v4? You see Buzz trying to satchel his way forward. Why is he's gotten one, but it's been traded back. Why is he by himself having to reload and reposition with the Haunt in his lap and the pressure overwhelming of three members of DRX facing you down on the other side? No way. A desperate attempt to try to land shots that should not be connecting and they don't. Once again, really nice from DRX. 
maintaining this safe distance. Keeping Billy Billy away from that all important match point. And again, we're now talking about four rounds. This is very much in the realm of possibility with how few we play. Big Holt starting to accrue for DRX2. Notably, that showstopper was saved in this situation. We thought they were going to use it. And DRX's approach here on this A side is so important, crucial for them to continue maintaining this when Billy Billy wants to work the entirety of the map. We've seen it before. We saw it in the last round, them attempt that. And if they can get success in getting kills as well, that pushes Billy Billy. A lot of times their reaction is super fast to try to maintain that advantage. I mean, in a lot of ways, this feels somewhat reminiscent to what we saw in the first half in how the defense is playing it. They're so aggressive towards A-Main, and they put the onus on the attack inside to either, I mean, if you want to go C, sure, by all means, but you're going to have to deal with the Killjoy utility and the Viper utility, or you try to go mid and you risk getting pinched Big difference here. As they actually tried to pressure that Prowler, does not catch Mako. He's making noise anyways. They're going to try to fight for this. DRX sticking around. This is big up for Mako. What a snap onto YZ. A great protocol there. That nade clears the player's A main. <gasps> he was ahead of that. Stack still wise to it. Nicely handled. Aware of the threat, aware of the danger. 30 seconds left. Do they funnel out behind that Molly? Buzz with the ult, and that connects onto Bianc. And that was the spike. <laughs> the buzz has been so crispy these last few rounds. And that's it. Spike down across the way, past the vault. Ten You're right, Buzz left. is stepping up. In the group stage, they didn't really need a massive performance out of Buzz, the one that we love, the one that we see all the time at these global events. There's really stacks. RB, those guys were consistent. Zest putting in a lot of work in crucial rounds. And there it is, timeout from Billy Billy. Surprisingly, it's them using their second ahead of DRX here. DRX still has one I available. Mean, we had questions around whether or not DRX would burn both in the first half. Yeah, I thought they should have. Yeah. And then going for another A or C execute when they had space already within the site. Didn't work though, but similar concepts can be applied. The other thing they could do is challenge this A execute that's constantly coming out from DRX, try to punish it with a molly over top, nades going back, prowlers coming through. Remember, Mako and Buzz stayed for so long in that last round. If that Uto came through, then all of a sudden, you would have had something different. This time, you do have difference from DRX. And Billy Billy pouncing immediately. They didn't see that. They only saw paranoia. They didn't see a nade, anything else. No Molly coming out from the side of Zest. So they just walk out. And there's three hero rifles here. Even a buy down to 600 from Rin. Whoa, all the way. They've created so much space. Behind all that utility, look at everything that's dumped. The Nightfall, the Pit. Marco got traded too in door. He got a kill. And if he stayed alive there, all of a sudden you have a three-way pinch and retake onto this pit, which is very devastating. But instead, you have control of door. It's planted for the spam. All they have to do is hold off RB. RB's on the flank, and I don't know that the turret the tur didn't see him. He has a lockdown now, too. Not one that you could really use effectively, but if he gets in this corner and posts it, you have to have a response from Billy Billy. I mean, there's nowhere else for Billy Billy to he go. Oh, on. this is so well handled. Look at K-Knight, understanding the pressure. Repositions, tries to find some space to work behind it, and he gets a kill on RB. Buzz falls as well, but K not, in, not able to do anything more. Bianc and Stax in a 1v1. He's got to give up the space to see he's not going to connect. Stax has already got it to half. Pulls off, and the snaps from Stax is good. What a clutch. What a round for DRX. The pre-fire is so good under pressure there from Stax. It's the Red Bull clutch. Look at this. Key moment there, K9 trying to oh. break that lockdown. Instead, dueling with Stax, and that forces Bianca to go all the way back in the drop and forces the rush in. That's why Stax is going for half, knows that he has to really run to stop that defuse. No mind games player played at all, either side. Oh, look at this. 
Buzz not on this A side at all. Instead, DRX making it look like they're going for one of those setups. And he's on the C side. Switching that up could really make things dangerous for Billy Billy if they go for any sort of C pressure. For Billy Billy, we mentioned that they had three rifles in the previous round. Because of how they managed their money, they still have enough to buy in the light armor on four. We'll see what they can do with it. It was a costly investment in the previous round. They dumped, what, two ults into that? They still have the lockdown from Rin. And again, we're seeing some of the protocols that we've seen to open the round, the satchels to clear out the Killjoy utility. You should, you should this run. time, they're committing. They invest the lockdown, they dump the nade, but Buzz again? The break that, yeah, oh. broke it. That, it was that easy. Yeah, that's all, that's the reason Buzz is over here. Not only does he clear out the lockdown, but he gets a kill with it. Oh, he picked up the gun instead of the spike. That's the wrong package. It's not what you were looking for. Kana, though, managing to avoid disaster, scooping up the spike. And now setting eyes forward. Left. See that satchel through. Bianca's gotten some space. Great season. They've confirmed the hit. It's still going to be on the seaside. Nobody tapping the door. Buzz in a position to find more value. Just one daring to challenge across the corner. And it is YZ. Yosemite on the trade, 13 seconds left, the spike's still not planted, and DRX still clawing for control. There's no way Knet pulls this off, right? This would be a 1v3. Mako's going fast with it. Oh, he decides to take the fight, but there was still so much to do. Mako cleans him up anyway as DRX get within one. And so far, it's a flawless half from DRX. Right now, looking for the comeback of champs so far from a 10-2 half to within one. How has this happened? And I have to say, Doug, I feel like Billy Billy's still playing a lot of these situations correctly. But DRX playing them even better. That nade to break the lockdown, it's so good preemptively. Oh, he's ahead of this. He's cheeky with it. Takes a good bit of damage though and stays alive. And the moment you've been waiting for too from YZ, the judge is back in his hands. He's gonna get up close and personal. No satchels left. One kill away, one orb away from having Showstopper online. As they dare to continue to challenge Buzz in that cross once more. And this time it's the second time he gets a kill. They did get the spike down. Mako expecting some of the pressure out from Rin on the flank. Reads him like a book. This is still dangerous. Time is ticking right now. 3v5? What do they have to delay? Can they get this gun? Yes! That's big! That's the second gun now being able to be picked up by Bjork and Wise he can get out. It actually went into Wise's oh. hands. But Zest has already gone to three quarters of the way. There's nothing to stop him! They created so much space in spawn, they lost sight of the spike! Again, an ingenious play from K Knight, but just not quite able to bring it across the line. Eight rounds in a row. Billy Billy flirted with perfection in the first half. But DRX showing that they could do, at least for now, what Billy Billy could not. This is twice now that we're thinking, could we have a perfect half? This is ridiculous from DRX. To get so close, oh, you that have no nade. shot, bro. You're so done. You're so done. If it was not the nade, it was going to be stacks. The ult comes through as well as they push their way forward. Mako with two. Knight trying to take a step back, dancing around the prowler. Snaps onto stacks, well handled. But the thing is, through all of that chaos, once again, the dust settles, and BLG are down in numbers. They're down in control, and they're finally down on Lotus. This is. Beautiful from DRX. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's quite literally perfect. Nine rounds now in a row. A fantastic comeback. Now they are in the lead, in the driving seat too. I mentioned earlier how important it was for them to keep Billy Billy off of 11. All of a sudden it's DRX with all the bank in the world with that ability to have the same closeout. Especially if they can get up to match point right now. And Billy Billy is just riding this loss bonus. Which means always you're gonna have a player who's low on money. Bulldog, Spectre's here. And I like this. Continue to hit this B site. This is where the least amount of presence from DRX has been. 
No shot, bro. There's just no way. The ult doesn't work. Follow up from Rin doesn't either. The second attempt at this site is something I like to see given success last time. But now that they get shut down here, now that Derek's again ahead of that adaptation. How did Billy Billy? What did they choose to go for? I mean, as soon as the door was tapped, you see RB start to take a step backwards. Realizing he's in a 1v3. Bomb grenade out. I mean, did Derek again challenge him much more? Yeah, he plays his life, and now Zest has shown up. Sax is not far behind either. They've gotten out onto the site, but they're going to be able to establish enough control to get the spike down. I don't think so. That kill back allows them the space to recover the spike, though, especially with the nightfall. But there's somebody getting a little ahead of it. And RB not giving up an inch, looking for the second. Beyonce there on the trade, but Boss finishes it once more. DRX gets a map point. Not only map point. But one round away from the perfect half here on Lotus. We've only seen that sort of performance twice at a global event. And when you see it, it usually comes in a 13-0. Instead, it's a massively close game. Somehow, someway. I think a lot of people maybe look back at this and think to themselves, well, it was close until it wasn't. Yep. But this is a comeback of the century. It's so beautiful to watch. DRX is ahead of every little step. They just need that last page from Billy Billy. And talk about forgetting about the past. They've done so masterfully. And they're now in a position where not only do they have the financial advantage, not only are they up two rounds, but they have so many ults they can play around too. There. This is what I was talking about, Billy Billy. Really doing a great job of taking it to RB's setup so frequently. Only one molly broken this time. There's that smoke that allows them to threaten that they're walking in. Instead, they're going to go towards this A site. They are lining up the mollies as Rob is talking about against Mako. He has TPs to get out of this situation. But Buzz is joining him, and he's getting really close. He's ahead of this now. Oh, my goodness. Just barely spotted the spam. Keeps him alive. Oh, you're right. TP. Buzz is here. Ooh, oh. Just barely gets away. What do they do with this pressure, though? What do they do with this space? That Nightfall's gonna get so much info. But BLG, throwing the brakes on the round, pausing for just a moment. Back to the B site. Big going begin. Allowing the Nightfall to subside, and they drop the pit of their own. DRX dudes, now they have B control. BLG, you've knocked on the first door. It doesn't open, does the second? Back to A, really? 14 there, seconds. There's not enough time here. They've got to find success on this. The openers have to be clean. And Buzz, of course, it's Buzz who's here. And Mako with three. The pin goes down. And so do BLG's hopes of winning this map. Four for back into this mentally, it's a tough thing to deal with. Now DRX with this weird comp makes it a lot harder to prep for, but is Billy Billy experienced against this type of situation? We see it a lot in EU, some tier two teams playing it as well in NA. Viper makes it really difficult to actually play into these retakes, especially when you get to this A side of the map. And that's where DRX is going right away. Meanwhile, it's just Yosemite who's playing here from Billy Billy, and he's playing up in heaven. 
you see they were concerned with losing health control. They had the alarm bot, they had the nano down there. Oh, so wait, he drops down. down? What? And they're mollied off from spawn with the orb up. This is what I'm talking about. It's like impossible to get through with just the first wave of util. You have to wait for that second to come through, and here it is. But again, it's it's isolated. Rin now starting to funnel up, but they've done such a good job of containing them out from Link. They just waterfall their way into the next round. That already is the first sign of them not being experienced, but I was just asking yeah. about in terms of scrimming against a comp like this. The win conditions for DRX a lot of times is just relying on trying to get on site with minimal losses, minimal util, and then use all the mollies possible to stall. Not even play for post point, although that's something that they can rely on too, which is a tough thing to tell whether they're doing one or the other. Right. Billy Billy needs to answer both of those questions immediately on this defensive half. Otherwise, we're going to see the streak from DRX continue. A little bit of information off of that flash, forcing the smoke out. You see the ward being picked up for stacks. And YZ's gotten a little aggressive. Nothing but a sheriff. And the alarm bot's going to keep him back. Is it here? Does he see it? It's clear out. He dashes forward off of the fault line and Buzz stunned up, drops him anyway. The angle of that dash slightly bad because Buzz can actually hold that. First teammate, hold RB's back if he gets up closer and then dashes into that stun into window. You're looking at a dead RB and a gun picked up from YZ. They're going to go for a second layer to this, push through Listen Garage fast. There are three members here. Out. And there's no trailblazer from Stax either, so they can't really get this info. Sorry, not just three, the turrets here too. It finally gets cleared out. Meanwhile, they're pushing their record and they decide they want to funnel out into the site, feeling like they've lost control of the situation, feeling like DRX were intent on going B instead. They try to take aggression and it does not work out. Yeah. That's the problem with going out garage. Yes, you can get yourself a kill. Yes, you can get yourself the win in that initial fight. But then it's so difficult because you can have players coming from spawn. You can have players coming from window. You can have players coming down the ramp in front of B. And that's what happened right there. Just nowhere else to go. That's 14 in a row now for DRX and a big opportunity here. This bonus. If this starts to balloon, I don't see a way. As a player, you can stay in this when... You've just had such a massive defeat. Feeling area. No, I, I can't fathom that either. And remember, the first two halves that we've played, bonuses have been converted on. First, it was Billy Billy. Second half of Lotus, it was DRX. Oh. Can they do it again? The opener on tonight is quite nice. And Sess is the entry there, paired up with Buzz. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. DRX may be back. Yeah, they seem to have forgotten about Lotus a long time ago. This game might be the perfect game to make it so difficult for those people who love to overreact. And right here in the bonus, <laughs> I'm going to do just that. Yeah, go on, overreact. Because Mako's on the flank. This round's over. And you also have RB playing Molly's in the post one again. That's what they love in some of these situations. That's what they love to contend with. And I'm looking at a Billy Billy who's going to struggle with that fact over and over. Yeah. In a lot of ways, it feels like DRX, if they're going to continue to catch these timings, it's very reminiscent of how Billy Billy liked well, to play. Yeah. I think about how they did it against NRG on Split. I think about how they did it to DRX on Lotus in the opening half. Finding these ratty little timings to expose tiny gaps and make massive gaping wounds. But DRX is doing the exact same thing back to them. And for me, the first two series that Billy Billy played, Everything did go their way. They were winning clutches. They were winning yeah. magic moments. Yep. Not quite the same thing here. DRX is the one, in my mind, who's having those moments. Opportunity here. Billy Billy on a light buy. There's a Guardian up for Yosem Yosemite. And you, Guardian down. Yeah, and that felt like that really felt like a perfect representation of what you were talking about just a few moments ago, where it felt like the magic was leaning towards VLG. You think about that in the opening to Lotus or against NRG, Yosemite hits those shots. He gets two, yep. right? And the crowd goes nuts, and we go, how the heck are they doing this? Yep. What's going on? Th that spark isn't there anymore. And in fact, it feels like such a distant memory. And against Fnatic, too, it was like, OK, we're expected to lose this. They lost. You don't have to contend with anything mentally there. Right, yeah. Here, they've been punched so hard. It's a gun punch losing that one. You get all the air sucked out of you. 
not just to lose the way that they did on Lotus, but then also to start here. The fact you lose a pistol, the fact that you get bonused. Bianca's about to face four <laughs> members of DRX. Yeah, he gets one for his troubles. 30 seconds left. But that's all it is. And you need to start doing some damage here for Billy Billy. You can't yeah. just rely on your loss bonus to balloon. If you want to come back into this, if you want to stop the momentum, you have to deal with the economy of DRX, which is really starting to go a little crazy. I mean, it's mad when you think about it. Zest at 55, Buzz and Sacks, 48 and 47 respectively. Like He did pick up a Phantom, so maybe you can save that. Walked away from his teammate, though, is not going to be the way to do it. No. And that's the problem there. Knight needs to try to die in this situation, whereas YZ wants to escape with the Phantom, then they can't play for each other. He's going to go back into for the Phantom, which is good. At least one of them gets alive. But what I was talking about, this bank ballooning and ballooning. The ults ballooning and ballooning. And on this map again, this is one where his ults are so impactful. A pit by Zest. Lockdown. The Seekers, all such valuable tools here for DRX. Not to mention the knives from Buzz, too. Although with bank, it's really difficult to even find yourself a place to use them. Huh. And this timeout marks 16 rounds in a row lost. For Sitting a timeout as early as you have. YZ has the op. Yeah. And it seems like it's going to be a peek out of Garage, but there's really no setup for it. I thought maybe a couple with a fault line or something like that, but this is... He, he loves to go dry. Yeah. He loves to do that, and he is the master of re-peeking. We've seen him do work at angles like this, but look at DRX. They're already considering an early one way, so he can't peek out. Now he can activate the dash and go for something more. This turret, nobody's peeking off of it yet. RB is just filled in behind it. He didn't even get the turret. That thing's still up, pesky as it is. And look at this double duo of Zest and Buzz again in front of this smoke. Already got value before. Drone coming in from backside. This is an opportunity to isolate a fight for Buzz up close. And they miss him! They have no idea. Is K9 aware? Is he expecting Buzz's presence? I mean, Buzz kind of has to wait for a second smoke here on front yeah. B from either Mako or, or Rin to get out of the situation or use one of his own. But then he can get spammed. Right. If you show your presence, there's the smoke. Finally, he can get but out. He's going to push into it. They both pushed into it at the same time. K9 tried finding space in that smoke. Oh, they pitted in, which makes the big threat of them walking into plant, but they're not actually going for it. This it. dog up short is going to actually give up the hit, though. Yeah, they got, they've got to be careful because BLG have two members here, and one of them is YZ with the seconds. op, but he's going aggressive. He's going forward. That's the pit down. Zest has fallen. YZ finds one with the op. And now the paranoia is going to delay even longer. Mako has to take a step back with the spike. 18 seconds left. There's no way into the site. Yeah, this is overcooked. I don't think they're going to have time to go either. RB or B. RB is the only one with some space, and he's now dropped. And with the ults as well out of Bianc. He left. cannot die here. They might have time. Oh. And he does. Can he get the plant? No. Oh. Yes. <gasps> he's going to get it. Just barely, I think. How have they made it this far? This you can't could lose be this one. You no. can't. This could be a backbreaker. This could be devastating. Can Billy Billy stabilize? Well, why is he on the angle? Mako can't go past it. No. And he knows. Buzz another one. Not like this. A 2v2. Buzz with three. He's got blades too. He's just perched down on the side. He's gotten four. Can Buzz do it on his own? No, he falls. Mako looking for it. The spam connects. A back-breaking round as BLG crumble once more. That is just absurd. And Billy Billy, not only do they have to deal with the fact that they just lost to a perfect Habs after dominating on their first. They were so close. Now, once again, so close. But they get hit with a 2v5. Oh, my goodness. It was like 0.1 left on the clock when the spike went down. And they're going for a fast push down mid. Knives active for YZ. Going for the Fnatic push. This is well set up. He's going to see so much. Zest was the one that didn't get caught, though. And they continue to push into the aggression from BLG. Looks like they expected it. Zest was already hiding from the dark. Three round. An attempt at catching him slipping just spells more disaster. DRX up 6-0.
18 in a row. Following up from Lotus. I asked if we wanted a bloodbath, some people would be happy on that first half, but this is absolutely brutal. Billy Billy back with weapons to up in the hands of YZ. Every step of the way, they're expecting the peaks. They're expecting that push. Are they expecting the up down C now? We haven't seen. Dude, they are, man. Yeah, that's mad. Already smoking top C. Trying to deny information, force the op to rotate on a normal passive angle, but it's not normal. Dude, it's crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Uh, they, they're flat. It really feels like they have nothing left. Solo duels, too, there from K Knight. Please. Nice from Bianca on the counter. Buzz is weak. Still so much to do. 31 HP left for him, and he's got to hold the side by himself. Remaining. And Bianca very well may. Player standing. A 1v1. Another opportunity of getting back into this. And this time it connects. Finally breaking the streak of what, 18 rounds in a row? 18 in a row, but. Big round for Billy Billy. They lose two players early. That's a 3v5, so some life in them still. And the Billy Billy fans in the crowd desperately trying to inject some energy and deny the DRX fans something here in the arena. But this is what I'm talking about. It's so difficult. If you didn't do damage early into this bank from DRX, you're going to constantly get hit with. Now you have all these ults up. And Billy Billy, for the first time, not with max loss bonus. Insta ult into heaven for Mako. And he's sticking it. There's so many things you're going to have to contend with here if you're Billy Billy. You've got Buzz dashing forward, you've lost heaven control. They have to play off. You should run. Dual lockdown, though. Are there mollies from RB? I think he, no, he just placed on the spike, which means they can play a post plant here. How do they handle this? Lineups from Zest, lineups from RB. Knight has ult. Four out heaven. But they don't expect Mako here, do they? Oh, he gets hit by the stun. He's going to dash right into him. YZ falls. Buzz still playing down in hell. No armor, 72 HP. The swing out into smoke. The spam connects as Buzz gets another. Looking for the third, and he finds it. They just got flooded back in a situation where they're the ones trying to use that breach ult to get out on site. Buzz is under, really deep in dark, under heaven. He puts himself in a position where he doesn't get ulted, is able to protect Mako, who is luckily in the best position ever. When, why is he trying to dash out? He's literally in his smoke. Yeah. Not able to trade that kill, and that allows all the players coming back from the lockdown to rush their way back in. Buzz was a hero there for sure. 13 and three for DRX, and I don't know how Billy Billy slow this down, man. I really don't. They continue to put tools in the hands of their star. Why is he once again with the rifle? Yeah, he's not going to have an op in the rest of the half for this, though, no. because of this decision, unless somebody can save up for him, which Yosemite might be in position to do later on. They ran it a couple times, and it didn't find a ton of value. That was so far back. I do like how... DRX are swapping up the person who's going up with Buzz to clear up close B. Normally with Zest, this time it's RP. Yeah. RP is a less risky player to invest in this one. Already using one of his mollies, and Zest is closer I've got your to any sort of impact in terms of ults. Ooh. Zest almost catches him there. Oh, they're looking to pounce if that Seeker actually gets a little bit more information about how empty that site is. Yeah, you could tell they were threatening it. But alas, they turn their attention to A once more. Why is he the only rifle in hand? And two found. Down a. But you see it, paranoia. Concerned about what's coming elsewhere. Here, here. RB is through garage right now. I don't know that they're out of play. I mean. Oh my goodness, he is deep. Recalling my boss. Can they pick up these weapons? Can be a G? He didn't clear the site, so. DRX is going to have to do that themselves, but RB's in position to backstab them left. through their own spawn. Yeah, but I don't. there's really nobody who's going to be there. It's just K Knight. And if K Knight can win this duel out, they have so much control because they've upgraded weapons! 
They scooped up the weapons that were left down long, and now there's a fighting shot at this. It's not planted for spawn either here. It's not planted for RP. Mako has to do everything. There's he's nobody done. coming RP's way. I mean, he's done it before, though. Can Mako do it again? The fault line. Mako looking to connect. Only one found. RB by himself in a 1v3. And the frenzy from a distance, no less, gets Billy Billy their second. That right there, you asked how do they stay in this. That right there was how. Two hero rifles bought. They were still going to be able to buy next round. So dealing with losing that loss bonus really well and winning in that instance with the MasterCard Thrifty is so important. They had three frenzies, three pistols. Look at this out of YZ. And Doug, I think I have the script. I think they're going to go ahead. DR is going to close out this half 10 2, and then there's going to be the perfect half. Yeah? Yeah. You got the script already? Yep. And they find themselves with a fighting chance. I will say, these halves with this type of Viper comp are really swingy. We can get really massive leads on one side or the other. Are they going to try again aggression towards mid? This lineup from beyond, the fact that K Knight just invested his fault line. Why is he close? Oh, it's so well handled. A double peek from mid yeah. and garage. Whoa. So nicely done. And that's timed with Bianca's dart landing so that everybody is trying to avoid it or hit it. All right, either you clear it out and then you get sucker punched or you're lit up like a Christmas tree. DRX quiet on that one as they start to rotate towards A in a 3v5. Somehow, some way, he's avoiding the alarm bar right now. No way to actually know that it's long. Now get some space. This peek from Yosemite. Oh, just a bit behind. And that was Marco smoking late because he's Five trying to planted. get space here for Zest. And those shocks are going to show up late too. And Saxon already cleared out so much. They invest 100 Fury though. Bianca's getting a little bit of damage done. Saxon's going to fall into the aftershock. A little bit more though. As Zest gets two. These mollies are so good in that orb. He's going to TP past it, though. Oh, right into Zest! Mako's really far back, too, and right now there's a smoke impeding his view, but they have to clear Zest, and they do. Beyond pushing forward, K Knight with three, and another round for BLG. Might have started slow, but it might end strong here in these last couple of rounds on the half for Billy Billy. Out of charges. And don't forget, this is a team. It's their first time stepping on a global stage at this event in group stages. It's their first playoff match at a global event ever. And they've actually earned themselves with their group stage push to get a second opportunity, even if they go down in this game. But everything that they learn along the way is so crucial. And I think you're already seeing them break through one of those barriers. YZ is a judge. And Blades online, wanting to find a way to peek through the smoke. You see the fault line set up for K Knight too. They're going to pounce on this. They're going to pounce on this because Yosemite's going to get some info early on. Judge. And there it is. There's the fault line. And there it is for Yosemite. Two found. YZ with the third. Oh, it was a trap, and they took it. Arby's going to have to 1v5 his way through this round. What a spectacular setup for Billy Billy. The most beautiful part about that to me is that the Jets not the one pushing up short. Every other team is going for that sort of approach. But a carpet bomb through. Sewers with the breach, with the omen, with the KJ following it up. And then it's YZ that they're baiting into with the judge. And again, a fantastic smoke out of Rin from cross map. They found some life yet, and honestly, the fact that these rounds are coming, they're coming at crucial moments where DRX yep. does not have these ults at any point in these last couple. And they don't really have it. I mean, they have some money to bring this into this. A Bulldog for Buzz. He's got Blades, so Zest with the Guardian. And meanwhile, the Op for YZ. Currently no challenge down too long, though. And it seems like Billy Billy are intent on wanting to take some of that space. They've tucked Yosemite into Cubby. I love this, too. YZ with the Op on the angle if they ever spot him. And so much more difficult to deal with a player in Cubby because you're trying to not get opt at the same time. Right. There's the possibility of going for a pop smoke, but very unlikely to happen. But in that light, nice attempt there from Zest to break the turret with the spam. And he finds it. There you go. Second time's a charm. You normally don't have high pen weapons on the attack side, so the fact that the money is broken actually allows them to do that.
Prowler. Now they're trying to go for that same pit where Zest was trying to lurk through A when they hit the execute. They may. And maybe even force Buzz into a position. No, it looks like they just want to hit this B site. Yeah, the smoke and the flash. Buzz dashing out with Paranoia to follow. Oh, love that. Underneath him, too. So he can push back into the back of sight. There's that pit I was talking about. Mako feeling some of that pressure has to reposition. They've got Buzz back sight. Remember, Mako can always TP out. Yeah. Oh, but shots! Is something to clear Buzz? The plant didn't go down. 15 seconds. They have to rush it. Zest is going to have to do it on his own, and Buzz gets cleared out as well. Managing to get the spike down, but you're left in a 5v3. Oh, risky moment there. Zest was the one who had to go recover the spike. This Lock lockdown's gonna push off the pit. They're gonna have to give it up. And that's gonna open up all the sidelines. He's gonna stay, Doug. They're gonna try to hold the pit up. Oh, it's so audacious! He does find one kill for it. He's still alive. Oh my gosh, he finally gets cleared Every out. Position. A 3v2 stacks with both! He's gonna have to get it. 5 HP and he cannot! Rain winning out the crucial 1v1 in the 11th hour. And all of a sudden, this is very much a game again. We've been in this position before, but this one much closer. Billy Billy still holding on. I mean, for both of these teams, we've seen them have to deal through so many mental hurdles. For DRX, it was halftime in Lotus. And then when we really thought everyone thought BLG was done, Billy Billy was no longer gaming. They come back to get it to a 7-5 half, a competitive one at that. And for DRX, we've got to ask, I mean, really, we're going to get the pleasure to ask Buzz this because they got through the group of death. They had a nice long break. Let's see how they spent that time. Oh, 일단은 플레이오프에 가장 먼저 진출하게 되어서 너무 기쁘고요. 어, 일단 그 플레이오프 경기 전까지 많은 시간이 있는데 그 많은 시간 동안 잘 준비해 가지고 플레이오프에서 어떤 팀을 만나든 이길 수 있도록 열심히 하겠습니다. 어 사실 그 죽음의 조라고 불릴 만큼 어, 많이 강한 팀들이 섞여 있고 어려운 조였는데 어 당연히 어느 팀을 만나든 이길 자신 있었지만 어 저희도 질수 있겠다라는 생각을 갖고 방심을 하진 않았고 어, 일단은 음, 플레이오프에서는 플레이오프는 일단 그룹 스테이지보다 훨씬 더 중요하니까 그냥 저희끼리 그냥 이, 이 남은 시간 동안 어 플레이오프를 잘 준비해서 좀더 새로운 거를 만들어야 될것 같고. 그리고 좀더 부족했던 거를 좀더 많이 채워야 될것 같고 어, 그렇게 하면 또 이제 상대도 저희를 이제 간파하기 좀 어려워질 것 같아서 저희가 남은 시간에 잘 활용해서 그런 강점을 많이 이용해야 될것 같아요 다른 팀한테 없는 다른 팀한테 없는 그런 많은 시간을 잘 이용해서 저도 괜찮고 저도 어차피 패자조 가서 이기면 된다라는 마인드로 저희가 졌다고 너무 분위기가 다운만 안 되면은 어 패자조 가서도 혹은 1맵을 지든 2맵을 지든 어 다음 맵에서 좀더 힘을 발휘할 수 있을 것 같아요. 죽음의 조에서 올라온 DRX이기 때문에 절대 쉽지 않은 경기일 거예요. 그래서 아무래도 좀 준비를 단단히 하고 오는 게 좋을 것 같습니다. 저희는 그 어느 팀을 만나든 음 아주 강력하기 때문에 잘 준비하고 싶죠. For DRX working through the gauntlet that they did, they seem to walk away from that a little bit more weathered, perhaps a little bit more grisly. Yeah. And that's what gotten them to this point in a situation where most teams crumble. Down 10-2 at half, they made a run at it. Now they find themselves on the receiving end of something special where Billy Billy have made a run at this. I love that from Buzz too. It's like he predicted the comeback on yeah. that first map. He said, we're trying to work on having that ability. Oh, it worked. The time invested, remember the long break that they had. If that was their intent, if that was their focus, job well done. Zest did use a molly here to prevent them from taking backside to use this, keep this wall up, but Billy Billy wants to flood behind it too. This is so messy. It's a 5v5 for the site! And they've left Buzz tucked, but they know he's there! Bianca and YZ! A 2k for both! And RB's now just starting to rotate onto the site. And it's not gonna work out. Billy Billy with the ever crucial pistol. It's a really cool round from DRX, but Billy Billy with the better response. So talking about preparation there at halftime. Both sides know exactly what to do in this situation. The fact that that molly goes down signals to Billy Billy. 
Okay, they don't want us backside. Let's wait until they take it and then really pinch them from all sides. Wisey's first initial push, fantastic. And DRX is playing solo Killjoy towards A on both sides. Both the pistol and this one. No orb to even support him there. Look at where Yosemite and Ren are right now. Yeah, they're chilling in spawn. Right? Yeah, they're so far back. Yosemite's just on top of, like, under his turret. Yes, they're just expecting some, some pressure and some aggression from the defense. It just never comes. That's interesting, too, because it was the right choice at the beginning of the round, but with the pressure up C-Long, DRX has chosen not to actually stay around in garage, stay around in mid. It looked like they might go for a similar push to what Billy Billy was trying on their own ecos. I believe RB spotted some of the players down long. But I guess not fully convinced that that's where the hit's coming from. Now he knows. I mean, he's stunned up. He's not going to be able to get off site. He's paranoid. He's flashed back site, managing to find comfort in the smoke, but eventually cleaned up nonetheless. It's so difficult to stay on site there when that paranoia is coming in, the stun's coming in, breaking the dart is difficult by yourself. You can see him panic on all directions there. Nothing he can do to get off. Here. It's just like waiting for death. Oh, perfectly timed one That's way, but he right just there. walks into it. They're flooding out right now, and it doesn't matter anyways. Oh, they're trying. They're trying, and just not the case. Billy Billy somehow, after the disaster that we saw in the opening at Haven, have tied us up at seven. This is, a, I mean, a streak of their own right now. Yeah, you're going to have to start counting the other way at this point. <laughs> I was just remembering, how far did I get? 18. <laughs> not enough fingers. <laughs> They've won six in a row, seven of the last eight. Going back to that first half, and again, I've got to draw attention to this because it's happened three times now. Every team and a half has won the bonus yep. when they've had the opportunity to do so. Three for three. Can Billy Billy continue that streak? Ending ahead. The fact that this is already tied is commendable for Billy Billy right away because other teams who lose that first map like that, they crumble. We've seen it before against DRX. DRX against Furia back at Champions. It was a massive comeback to bring it back to OT and win instantly. And that second map, devastating. Here though, Billy Billy still holding on and potentially could take the lead if they win the bonus. Nice trade. Cover going out. Definitely favors the attackers in most cases, but Yosemite down means flanks are going to be possible. Wonder if DRX wants to start to go for it, but without Buzz, usually that's the guy who would go for some aggressive pushes. Right. They found Mako alone here, though. And again, same situation. He's going to make a TP play up close to the orb. But he meets the same fate, much like we saw in the previous round. Stax pop flashing out of the smoke, doing it on his own. And they've gotten a shot at this. They've kept this very competitive. Rin's going to have to do it on his own. A 1v2 RB weak, waiting for the challenge on the other side. And DRX throw the brakes on it, understanding the onus is on Rin to swing out and to make something happen. Zest get three. DRX take the lead back. Zest has been phenomenal in this series. 15 and nine right now, but in particular, throwing that molly as they go for the flood actually lands perfectly onto one of the players from Billy Billy, vulnerables them up, makes it difficult for them to position themselves, which is one of the key strengths out of this Billy Billy side. You see actually two mollies thrown out, landing perfectly. One on default and one where the jet normally dashes. That fast flood as well, getting the flash onto YZ. Something that YZ's been getting caught out a lot by. Oh, they've set us up here. Now spotting both. Well, Candle dancing around and trying to isolate the gunfights, but that's all it is for now. K Knight has the rolling thunder. Drone traded by Trailblazer, keeping the space here by Stax. Well done. And the drone doesn't get info about exactly what's on the other side, because that's instantly re-cleared. Mako denies any more information from get, being gathered. Breach ult, though, and they're playing up close. This could be really bad for DRX. That flash didn't hit. Look how back he's playing right here to make sure that he's hitting the player in short. Your feet. It didn't hit Buzz. Oh my goodness, it didn't hit Buzz. They're going to check him. No, they don't. Buzz goes unchecked. Sax gets another. DRX refused to relent on the site. K Knight left by himself. 
the setup man now having to play getaway. 30 seconds left. He can't. And Buzz has just gotten away with the round. Just crazy. He just tucked himself into that smoke. And once again, a different smoke from Zest. He's throwing a lineup from spawn at the beginning of the round so he can set up on C as well. So spreading his Viper Uta really wide Ten and allowing somewhere left. to play for Buzz. Normally that smoke is going in between the default box and short. And here he's using it on long instead for that moment right there. It's simple things. Just when it seemed like DRX was in trouble. Ridiculous. I've seen nine threes from them, obviously, with the curse. But ten right twos there. as well. <laughs> we just saw exactly that. Now here on Haven, they're putting down a comeback attempt from Billy Billy. And they've actually kind of forced a weird situation to buy. It's Stingers, it's Knives going to be popped from YZ. Just the one rifle in the hands of K Knight. And there's definitely not as much nuance here in the Billy Billy attack side that we were seeing on Lotus. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely. It's, it's a lot harder for them to, ooh, they're just going to pop. Maybe push through Garage. Yeah, he's going for it. It's instantly denied by Zest of all people again. The blade's blunted. The hit on the other side falls too. K Knight with a nice trade on Damako, but whatever attempt they had at trying to catch him sleeping just does not manifest. A cool attempt, but yeah. very low success rate. Yeah. One attempted to push your jet into B, into C Link, to go for a garage pinch on that. And there was not even smokes there from Rin to really assist with that. It's just, why is he trying to do it on his own? Look at this. That one smoke, but not a follow up on to spawn and then Rin TPing in. We've seen him so many times TP in front of DRX players. Maybe hoping for his teammates to get the kill so he can go for a fast push through Garage, which yeah. would catch him off guard. Speaking of off guard, they're going to go for another C push, maybe a dash. Yeah, dash through from YZ. They've taken the space. What do BLG do off of this? Do they understand what they've lost and do they try to pounce elsewhere? Yeah, Buzz. So much control. They should have heard the stun. They should have heard everything and they should have seen the wall swap, but I'm not even sure they've got that info yet. I don't think so. Nobody peeking mid, only a turret, so they might not. And once again, that orb swapped back to give room for RB to play in short instead. Everything's so well considered from DRX on this defense. I mean, they've got him corralled and controlled. Buzz early info, yep, no damage done to him. And this wall actually supports him quite good. Yeah. Just a question of how much gas is left in Viper's tank and when that wall goes up. Might not be any, actually, they're through it. Yeah. Fully disrespecting the wall, the aftershock back site. You hear the hole come through as they try to clear Buzz off this area. Mako has joined him. Smoke lasts forever. They just hold on to back site. It's so nice. Are they going oh! to get to this? Yeah, they are. They're intent on trying to take the site. And so far, so good. 30 seconds left. Billy Billy have dropped three. Make that four. RB left alone. We've seen him in situations like this so often. A 1VX when the round seems like it's done. But can RB inject some magic into a situation where a couple of members are weak? No. Billy Billy with another. Mako there succumbing to what Rin just did. He TP backside where Billy Billy players are ready for them. It's very difficult to deal with. In that situation, Mako throwing his smoke down, trying to play. You can see it right there on your screen. Mako, as the smoke elapses, is trying to get an advantage as stacks fills the space that he leaves. Left. But either way, enemy Billy Billy is so comfortable hitting the site, realizing they don't get the, the space that they really need, waiting for a little bit, and then pushing even for, further. And that's another example of that. Beautiful freeze. Buzz with the op. And they very well might end here. They've taken some aim in control, but concerned about short with really no setup here. I mean, you see the respect that both Jets are showing one another. Yeah, this is interesting right now. I think Billy Billy is considering the fact they just smoked their own, the turret. DRX did, so they don't have information about what's down mid, so that's why they slowed down a little bit on A. Is it gonna reach? It didn't spot him. Oh my god, oh, it finally spots him. Just at the very end. I should have seen the op in his hands too. Trailblazer to maybe get him back on the line, and if it goes deep enough, he might get back and get all the info. Maku needs to stay alive though. Be difficult to do. 31 HP, no armor left, but he TPs and stays alive. 
Now Bela Billy rotating towards C. Yosemite, the only one who's taken some damage so far for the attacking side. Note here, Zest is ahead of this. He's already rotated over. The Molly again from the Viper to cause some problems on the flood out from Billy Billy, but they managed to circumvent it for now. RB 45 HP tucked behind the wall, trying to find some space. Again, this is madness. Almost every single player is just standing here on the site. There's nothing but smokes and walls keeping them from apart from one another. And as soon as it goes down, it's going to be a bloodbath. One for one early on. Sats looking for another, but it's BLG once again who established control, but do they know Mako's here? He can stop the round by himself. He's gonna swing on it, but the spike planted. Mako with three and the round is over. DRX with another. And he gets the final kill through the spam. He's just trying to deny the plant. I don't even know if he knew what was going on. Either way, if he doesn't get that buzz, is so far away in that 1v1. Really difficult. BLG losing track of how many players were back set. I mean, I'm pretty sure they saw Mako early in that, when that wall, when the smoke all fell. I can't believe that. <laughs> Yosemite was so weak. The free kill, the spam through the box. We've talked so much about streaks in this series. The RX have won four of the last five. They've reestablished control in the face of a ferocious attempt at a comeback from Billy Billy. And Billy Billy has slowed down so much since those early attempts. Yeah. Remember, they were just throwing things at the wall in terms of pushing B on their ecos, trying to up the pace. But they're realizing that's the wrong strategy. And at this point, you start to second guess any ideas of what you have on the game. Here. Here. They're so consistently being put in that position on C where they just can't push further through the Viper wall. They use S as mollies, yeah. And we saw the beginning of the half start in exactly that fashion. What do they do to counter this? It seems like they want to set up for a flush out of Garage, but I mean, RB is yeah. yeah. going to step back on the smoke. You got the fault line set up from K Knight for them to dash out forward. You've got the paranoia set up too. Oh, pit reactively, but there's an ult coming out from Bianca right now. Does he tag anything? They haven't gotten out onto site. No. Dude, DRX have handled this so well. 30 seconds and they have to pivot. They can't go see anymore. 30, 30 there's seconds no way to left. flush Zest out. But they've left Yosemite as a trap. A trick! Oh, where did that shot go? That looked like it was going to be between his eyes. But sticking around. And he pays for it. That's Billy Billy. It seemed labored. It seemed late, but they roll over DRX. Can Zest 1v4 this? What's the money situation look like? Spotty. Buzz has a bit to go around. Toxins going up. So maybe they take a shot at this, but he's just going to save this. Not wanting to give a orb over to K Knight, to Yosemite, who's very close to his lockdown, too. Toxins screen down. A 20 second decision to push back out of garage and into B. Into the hot buzz with a crucial missed shot. I mean, I need to take a look at that one more because that looked on. Yeah, could could come back to haunt him for yeah. sure. And then the decision to stay. Try to do. Oh, whoa! What? What happened? What happened there? Did he have a gun? Yeah. He, he yeah. Did. That's question mark. Where did he die? Just to the spike down bottom grass. Yeah, but. There's that miss. Oh my god. I'd be so mad. I mean, there's a hole in his hood now. <laughs> and then just ripping them apart with the insert in Garage, too. Oh, bro. That's just not. That's silly. No reaction. Love it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Two rounds keeping these two teams apart. DRX still with control to op in the hands of Buzz, but they're going fast towards A. And that's not where they are. YZ with blades, the first one found. He's got to drop down, but K-Knight's there to help. Can Zest once again be the anchor? Can it be too much? He's already gotten two. He tries to pop it out. Zest almost with four. I swear every series that guy has game saving multi kills. And it might just have happened again. Buzz and Mako on the retake. Mako's been great. Buzz with the off though is going to find it difficult to get value. Oh, that's going to hit him. Maybe both. Buzz has knives. That is both. You're right. But the dash forward, he clears hell first. Leaving Bjorg by himself, and Buzz snatches it back. Beautifully 
set up by Mako. The paranoia was pixel perfect. That's the difficult situation when you go for that setup. It's so consistent at getting value normally. Setting up the crossfire in dark, in graffiti. And I don't know how that takes down Gay Knight. That's just ridiculous. Dude, holy zest, man. He's what a hold so of rock. Yep. I call him that all the time, but he really is. And DRX is on match point, not match point, series point. Upper bracket semi-final point. A team who gets there almost every time. Here they are again. No strangers to it. And definitely no strangers to closing out maps like this. Billy Billy do have some tools though. They've got the Rolling Thunder. Reynes is all currently with the spike, but you see the buy, Bianca with the Spectre. And they've swapped up this wall again, don't forget. The Viper wall in front of B, in to Garage and down bottom C. It hasn't worked in the past. <laughs> That's a lot of info. Three spotted with that Trailblazer. And that's from C-Link. I mean, that thing went far. Drone to get him up close. Mako with the smoke. They're not going to rely on that delay. Remember, they can't without the Viper Wall. So Mako maybe has one assist smoke. Crosshair train, and once again, the miss. But he somehow dodges it once more, dashing forward, trying to find space. And Mako with two. But Ren on the counter, punching right back. Mako was full stunned in that situation. Zest is fast. Again. Can Zest be the hero for DRX once more? Just gets the kill and backs off. Playing this very well, but here's the freeze from Billy Billy. Can they find any way to maybe TP it on the, the other side? Maybe, if yeah. Bianco's aggressive. Oh, but you leave them here by himself? No, they're gonna dig their heels in, at least I thought, towards C. A reposition to play down long. Bianco thinks he can play. Yeah, they're he's playing away from the killjoy lockdown. Oh, he's got two shocks too. Oh, where is he Rain, where are you headed? Remember, k Knight on Lotus was so good at finding the proper spots, this but... This is so safe. Oh, he's not even using it through B. Too scared. It's not planted for long, remember, but actually putting it that is. threat in their head. It is, and he's got shocks, but he's not using them. He's just going to try to spam through, and RB's going to be able to hold it the whole way. There was not enough. RB sticks it. DRX survived the best possible shot that B 